Hey there, hello. All right, I wanted to do a little video because I've been getting a ton of questions about To Be Mindset, and especially because it's on promotion this month, um, and it is the meal plan that I exclusively, or the nutrition program that I exclusively follow and have for almost an entire year now. Um, but I've been getting a lot of questions, and so I thought rather than try to type out my answers or try to just um, put it into words, like through text or through voice message, I I would just give you, I sat down and just jotted down all my thoughts about it. And that's why I'm looking at that when I'm looking over here. But um, I thought I would just do a video, share with you how I feel about the program, why I think it's worth the investment, why it's worth the money, um, and then just hopefully answer some of those questions that you might be feeling about if it's for you, if it's something that you could relate to, um, and that type of thing. So some of the questions I've been getting is, and I actually got this a lot when To Be Mindset came out, there were people that were interested, and then they were like, well, that sounds like what I know I should be doing. I just don't do it. Okay, so isn't that the truth? Isn't that what nutrition is, is that we all know that like, what's not good for us, but we still eat it. And we all know what is good for us, we just don't eat it, right? And for me, one of the things that I quickly learned about To Be Mindset was that I knew all of those things and I'd even done Beachbody and the portion containers and all that for three years. Like I knew all that stuff in the back of my head, but I didn't really know how to use it, how to apply it, like how to fit it into my life and how that, like emotionally how I use food as trigger and how I didn't kind of like have a separation between the two. Um, I did really well when we did shift shop and we had the meal plans, the containers, but as soon as shift shop ended and real life came into play, like I would fall off and I couldn't get back on and wait till Monday and like all those kind of things. And I can honestly say since doing and starting to be mindset a year ago, I've never had that like where I completely fall off the wagon and I don't know how to get back up. Or it takes me an entire week to talk myself back into getting on track. Um, and so I think because for the most part, for me, like to be mindset just made eating simple. It's not complicated. It's simple. It's not stressful. It's not restrictive. Like I, I watch the videos, I learn everything, and I apply it to my life every single day. Um, another question is like, so what does it bring to the table? Like you have the containers, you have the Transform 20 Nutrition Guide. What's the difference between 2B Mindset and that system, that nutrition plan? So I'm just gonna read down my list and kind of and ex explain it and talk through there, but it doesn't include new foods. Like food is food, veggies are veggies, carbs are carbs. Um, she does break down the carbs a little bit more to kind of explain. I think that's why I liked it so much is she talked about what those certain foods do for your body, um, what those certain carbs do for your body. Um, talked about like, um, looking at fruit as for what it really is and protein and all those kind of things. So the food lists aren't different. It's food is food, like it's the same thing. But what is different is the portions and how you are eating and how you know what to eat. And so if you're somebody that you look at the containers and that feels restrictive, or like me, I would stress because I was like, did I get three greens today? Like, oh my gosh, like I think I got three and a half. And oh my gosh, like I don't know if I got enough purples today. Like I better eat a banana right before I go to bed. Like I would, I would feel so restricted. I'd feel so like confined to these containers and obsess over getting them in. And so to be mindset is different than that. You're not focused on... And she, and this blew people's minds when we were in the test group and using the program, she doesn't give you like, you should have four ounces of protein. No, it's your plate. You have a picture of your plate and this is what it should look like. A nine inch plate is your, is your basis. And you should have half veggies, half protein, half carb. You put in there what you want, but that's what it should look like. And so whether I'm at home, whether I'm out to eat, whether I'm at my in-laws, whether I am traveling, like wherever, I can look at my plate and say, all right, I'm on track. I should eat half of that. I should eat all of that veggies. I should eat a little bit of that carb. I can take the program with me wherever I go. And it fits into wherever it is that you're eating, whatever it is that your lifestyle is, um, what I should eat at each meal and why. So for example, um, this might seem like common sense, but you know, she talks about not having carbs at supper. And for three and a half years, like I was always having a carb at supper. It's just like, what is the purpose of carbs? To give you energy. And so when you're at supper, when you're like going in through the night and you're going to bed, 
You don't need carbs. Like at night, you want your body to go through that process of digestion and break down what you've used and you want it to burn. It's going to burn off your fat and all those things while you're sleeping because you're not having carbs. It's relying on that. And so especially when I was postpartum, I, I will be honest, I think I can attest a lot of my weight loss to the fact that I wasn't eating carbs at night. I was having carbs at breakfast, I was having carbs at lunch, but I wasn't having carbs at supper. And like, thank you, Alana, for helping me realize that. And so yes, I still have them every once in a while, but in my mind, I'm like, I shouldn't eat a carb right now. I don't need it. I don't need the energy right now. Um, so it just really opened up my eyes to like a simpler way of eating but that was effective and that was honestly a lot more nutritious for me because I was focused on three meals a day. And right now, if you're doing Transform 20 and you're thinking like, I'm eating five meals a day and I'm feeling like all over the place, you guys, I was eating five meals a day. And like Alana said, she's a dietitian. She's, she's like, you don't need to eat between meals. Your body needs that time to break down your food if you're constantly eating. And I know you're probably like, well, doesn't Autumn say that you should eat all the time and everybody's different. But for me, what Alana was saying clicked, and I think it has a lot to do with up here. And I thought, I can eat three meals. I can make that work in my busy day, in my busy life. I can make that happen. So another thing, too, that made a huge difference for me, and this might be mental. I might be the only one. Um, but the fact that I invested in the tracker, the, the fact that I invested in the program made me more accountable. It made me want to do it. It made me want to actually track my food. It made me actually want to weigh myself every single morning. It made me want to drink all my water so I could cross off the bottles, like all those things. Investing in it, it made me stick with it and it made me just continue to do it. Um, it helped to see that emotional side. So back back that one second. So when everybody, everybody always tells me like, well, I already know like what I should eat or what I should do then why aren't you doing it? <laughs> if you know, then you should do it, but we don't because we're not invested. We don't have that financial tie to it, so we don't feel that pull to like really do it when the going gets tough. Like We sit there and we eat the pizza and we're like, oh, I know I shouldn't be eating this, but I'm still gonna do it. But if you're financially invested, you make that emotional change, you make those changes. And then as soon as you continue to make those changes, then they become habits, okay? Um, it, she talks a lot about the emotional side, the reasons, like when you go and you want to snack, break it down and think, why are you snacking? Like, why do you feel at 10 o'clock you need that snack? You know, kind of breaking it down and talking about that way. I said this a little bit earlier too. I didn't, I don't feel like restricted. I never felt restricted. I never, I felt free. Um, she does a lot of videos on like, let's say you're at a party or let's say like you're hungry. What should you do? She talks about that. She breaks that down for you. She helps you make an emotional tie with, I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat the carbs. No, you're hungry. Drink some water, have some veggies, and then see if you're really, truly hungry, right? But again, it's that just having somebody else tell you that, you investing in that, that makes that difference for you. Um, one of the great things about the program too is once you buy it, you have lifetime access. So it's on promotion right now. It's on sale right now. Let's say you want to get it and you're like, well, you know, I got this and this and this, so I'll start in February you have lifetime access. You have total access to those videos all the time. I actually just, i have it's on my list to do, but like to go back and watch a few of the videos just to like retrain my brain, get everything refocused and stuff. So you have lifetime access to those. Last thing, it honestly, without a doubt, hands down, has changed how I feel about nutrition, how I feel about the way that I eat, the way that I feel my body, um, I, I don't obsess over f my food anymore, my meals anymore. Like I am just focused on veggies and protein and carb and like, that's it, that's it. And guess what? My Shakeology takes over my breakfast. So that's one meal that's already out. Of so literally I focus on two meals a day. It's amazing. If you struggle with meal planning, if you struggle with knowing what, like if you just had to focus on two meals a day, legit lifesaver, especially if you have kids, you work full time, like all that stuff, it is legit lifesaver. Um, so I will say that it made meal planning way easier. Like I struggle so bad when I have to make a meal plan for my challengers with the container list. Cause I'm like, ah. I literally sit down and I'm like lunch, breakfast. And most of the time lunches are leftovers because I make enough at supper, have leftovers. So I, it's made we've saved more on groceries because we're not buying, I'm not buying fruit and it's going bad. And I'm not buying, um, I mean, I'm, not, I'm buying fruit, but like, you know what I mean? Like 
we're just saving more because we're not buying more food. Like we're just using what we're using and we're eating what we're eating. Um, and then it just, it gets you in a routine. Like I said, you're making that initial investment. And so you're making those changes and then it just becomes routine. Like whether you're out to eat, whether you are gone, like what it just becomes that routine and it becomes habit. Okay. All right. So I hope that that helped. I hope that that gave you a little bit of an insight into what to be mindset is all about. Um, if you are interested and want a little more information, um, about how it is on promotion and all that kind of stuff, just let me know. Um, and I might put together a group in February just to kind of take a deeper dive back into to be mindset. Um, so if that's something you'd be interested in as well, just, um, give me a shout and let me know. Thanks.